The essential blood tests you need to know. Are you truly in control of your health? Discover the crucial blood test that can unveil hidden risks and empower you to make informed choices for a healthier future. In today's health landscape, understanding your body goes beyond just the basics. Comprehensive blood tests can provide vital insights into your metabolic health, revealing conditions like insulin resistance that often go unnoticed. Join us as we explore the essential blood tests that can help you decode your health status, learn how to interpret your results, and implement lifestyle changes to enhance your well-being. Focus Points Fasting Glucose Levels Understanding the Significance and Ideal Ranges for Fasting Glucose Insulin Measurement The critical role insulin plays in glucose regulation and overall health. HbA1c Test Tracking long-term glucose levels and their implications for health and aging. Home IR Ratio How to measure and interpret insulin resistance for better metabolic health. Continuous Glucose Monitoring CGM the benefits of real-time monitoring for non-diabetics. Additional tests. The importance of lipid panels, liver function tests, and inflammatory markers. Lifestyle modifications. Actionable strategies to improve health markers and reduce risks associated with insulin resistance. Learning outcomes. Gain a comprehensive understanding of essential blood tests and their significance. Learn how to interpret fasting glucose, insulin, HbA1c, and home IR results. Discover actionable lifestyle modifications to enhance your metabolic health. Empower yourself with knowledge to have informed discussions with healthcare providers about your health. Understand the importance of proactive health management in preventing chronic diseases. This audiobook will equip you with the knowledge you need to take charge of their health, Make informed decisions and foster a proactive approach to well-being. Focus point one, fasting glucose levels. Fasting glucose levels are a critical metric for assessing an individual's metabolic health and understanding the body's ability to regulate blood sugar. This measurement is taken after an overnight fast, typically after 8 to 12 hours without food, making it a reliable indicator of how well the body manages glucose in the bloodstream. The significance of fasting glucose levels lies in their capacity to reveal potential health issues before they develop into more serious conditions. Elevated fasting glucose can signal insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes, while levels that are consistently within the normal range suggest effective glucose metabolism. According to the American Diabetes Association, ADA, the normal range for fasting glucose is under 100 mg per deciliter with levels between 100 and 126 mg per deciliter classified as prediabetes, and levels above 126 mg per deciliter indicating diabetes. Research indicates that maintaining fasting glucose levels below 85 mg per deciliter may be optimal for long-term health. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care demonstrated that individuals with lower fasting glucose levels exhibited a significantly reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. The researchers emphasized the importance of early intervention and lifestyle modifications for those with elevated glucose levels, reinforcing the idea that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Variances in measurement units are also noteworthy as different regions may utilize different systems. While milligrams per deciliter, mg dl, is common in the United States, the International System of Units, SI, employs millimoles per liter, mol l, with the conversion factor being approximately 18. For instance, a fasting glucose level of 100 milligrams per deciliter translates to about 5.55 millimoles per liter. It's essential to note that fasting glucose levels can be influenced by various factors, including stress, illness, and hormonal changes. For example, a person undergoing significant stress might experience temporarily elevated glucose levels due to the body's fight-or-flight response, which prompts the release of stress hormones like cortisol. In such cases, a single fasting glucose test may not provide a complete picture of one's health status. Continuous monitoring, such as through continuous glucose monitoring, CGM systems, can provide more nuanced insights into how everyday activities and stressors affect glucose levels. 
regular monitoring of fasting glucose can facilitate early detection of potential metabolic issues. Consider a hypothetical case where a 45-year-old individual regularly checks their fasting glucose and notices a gradual increase over several months. By seeking medical advice at this early stage, they can engage in preventative measures such as dietary changes, increased physical activity, and regular follow-ups, ultimately mitigating the risk of progressing to prediabetes or diabetes. To optimize health, individuals are encouraged to prioritize regular fasting glucose assessments. These tests can be part of annual checkups, especially for those with risk factors such as obesity, a sedentary lifestyle, or a family history of diabetes. Incorporating a balanced diet rich in whole foods, regular physical activity, and effective stress management techniques can further help maintain optimal glucose levels. In summary, understanding fasting glucose levels is crucial for assessing and managing metabolic health. Regular monitoring, combined with lifestyle modifications, empowers individuals to take proactive steps towards preventing chronic conditions. By prioritizing awareness of fasting glucose levels, individuals can play a pivotal role in their health journey, emphasizing that early detection and intervention are key to long-term well-being. Focus point two, insulin measurement. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that plays a pivotal role in glucose regulation and overall metabolic health. It facilitates the uptake of glucose by cells, allowing the body to use sugar for energy or store it for future use. Understanding insulin measurement is essential for assessing metabolic function and the risk of conditions such as insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. The critical nature of insulin in glucose metabolism cannot be overstated. When you consume carbohydrates, they are broken down into glucose, leading to increased blood sugar levels. In response, the pancreas secretes insulin to help cells absorb glucose and lower blood sugar levels. However, in individuals with insulin resistance, the body becomes less responsive to insulin's effects, requiring higher levels of the hormone to achieve the same glucose-lowering effect. Over time, this can lead to a state where the pancreas can no longer keep up, resulting in elevated blood sugar levels and the onset of type 2 diabetes. Research underscores the importance of measuring fasting insulin levels as a tool for understanding metabolic health. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism demonstrated that elevated fasting insulin levels correlate with increased risk for various health issues, including cardiovascular disease and metabolic syndrome. The findings highlight that individuals with fasting insulin levels above 25 U/ml are more likely to exhibit signs of metabolic dysfunction further emphasizing that the first wealth is health, as Virgil famously noted. Insulin measurement can also provide insights into an individual's dietary patterns and lifestyle choices. For instance, a case study involving a 50-year-old male with a history of poor dietary habits revealed that his fasting insulin levels were consistently elevated. After adopting a whole foods-based diet and increasing physical activity, he experienced a significant reduction in insulin levels showcasing how lifestyle modifications can directly influence metabolic health. This shift not only improved his insulin sensitivity, but also reduced his risk of developing type 2 diabetes and related complications. Additionally, understanding the connection between insulin and other metabolic markers is crucial. The homeostasis model assessment of insulin resistance, HOMIR, is a method that estimates insulin resistance based on fasting insulin and glucose levels. A higher HOMA IR score indicates greater insulin resistance, prompting healthcare providers to recommend lifestyle changes or interventions before conditions worsen. Given the substantial impact of insulin on health, it is essential to regularly monitor insulin levels, especially for individuals with risk factors such as obesity, hypertension, or a family history of diabetes. Early detection of elevated insulin levels allows for timely intervention. For instance, an individual who learns about their elevated fasting insulin may work with a nutritionist to develop a tailored dietary plan that reduces carbohydrate intake and emphasizes nutrient-dense foods, which can improve insulin sensitivity. In summary, 
Measuring insulin levels is vital for understanding an individual's metabolic health and risk for chronic diseases. Regular assessments, combined with lifestyle modifications, empower individuals to make informed choices that can lead to improved health outcomes. By recognizing the critical role of insulin in glucose regulation, individuals can take proactive steps towards better metabolic health, emphasizing the importance of maintaining a balanced lifestyle to support overall well-being. Focus point three, HbA1c test. The HbA1c test, or glycated hemoglobin test, is a pivotal tool in diabetes management and metabolic health assessment. This test measures a percentage of hemoglobin molecules in the blood that are coated with sugar, reflecting average blood glucose levels over the previous two to three months. Understanding HbA1c levels is crucial for identifying long-term trends in glucose control and their implications for health and aging. The significance of the HbA1c test lies in its ability to provide a comprehensive view of blood sugar management beyond what single fasting glucose tests can offer. It allows healthcare providers to evaluate how well an individual has maintained glucose control over time, thus helping to predict the risk of diabetes-related complications. The American Diabetes Association categorizes HbA1c levels as follows. Under 5.7% is normal, 5.7% to 6.4% indicates prediabetes, and levels above 6.5% suggest diabetes. Research highlights the implications of elevated HbA1c levels for long-term health. A landmark study published in the New England Journal of Medicine demonstrated that individuals with an HbA1c of 7% or higher were at a significantly increased risk of developing complications such as neuropathy, nephropathy, and cardiovascular disease. This finding underscores the importance of effective glucose management to reduce the risk of such conditions as we age. As the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. This emphasizes the importance of early intervention in managing glucose levels. Case studies further illustrate the impact of HbA1c monitoring on health outcomes. One such case involved a 60-year-old woman who had been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. After regularly monitoring her HbA1c levels and making necessary lifestyle adjustments, including adopting a Mediterranean diet and incorporating regular physical activity, she managed to reduce her HbA1c from 8.5% to 6.3% within a year. This improvement not only stabilized her blood sugar levels, but also significantly decreased her risk of complications, enhancing her quality of life. The HbA1c test is also relevant to aging populations, as managing blood sugar is linked to various aspects of healthy aging. Elevated glucose levels have been associated with cognitive decline and increased risk of dementia. A study published in Diabetes indicated that older adults with higher HbA1c levels experience greater cognitive decline compared to their peers with lower levels. This connection highlights the need for proactive management of glucose levels to preserve cognitive function as we age. To effectively manage HbA1c levels, individuals should focus on a combination of dietary choices, physical activity, and regular monitoring. Consuming a diet rich in whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats while minimizing refined sugars can positively impact blood sugar control. Regular aerobic and strength training exercises have also been shown to enhance insulin sensitivity and improve overall glucose metabolism. The HbA1c test is essential for tracking long-term glucose levels and understanding their implications for health and aging. Regular monitoring and proactive management of HbA1c levels can help individuals reduce their risk of complications associated with diabetes and support healthy aging. By prioritizing a balanced lifestyle and making informed dietary choices, individuals can take significant steps toward better metabolic health, ultimately enhancing their overall well-being as they age. Focus point four, home IR ratio. The homeostasis model assessment of insulin resistance, HOMEIR, is a valuable tool for estimating insulin resistance and assessing metabolic health. By utilizing fasting insulin and glucose levels, HOMEIR provides insights into how effectively the body responds to insulin. 
Understanding this ratio is critical for identifying potential metabolic issues and implementing timely interventions. A home IR value above 1.0 typically indicates insulin resistance, while values below this threshold suggest normal insulin sensitivity. Research has shown that insulin resistance is often a precursor to serious health conditions, including type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. A study published in the journal Diabetes Care established a direct correlation between elevated home IR values and increased risk of metabolic syndrome, emphasizing the importance of early identification and management of insulin resistance. The implications of a high home IR ratio can be profound. Consider a 55-year-old individual with a family history of diabetes who, through regular health screenings, learns that their home IR is significantly elevated at 3.2. This alarming figure prompted immediate lifestyle changes, including a dietary overhaul focused on reducing processed carbohydrates and increasing physical activity. Within a few months, not only did their home IR drop to 1.8, but follow-up tests also showed improved fasting insulin and glucose levels. This case underscores how home IR can serve as a crucial early warning system for metabolic health. Moreover, the importance of home IR extends beyond just individual assessments. It has been utilized in large-scale epidemiological studies. A notable research project published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism investigated the relationship between home IR and the prevalence of cardiovascular disease in different populations. The findings revealed that higher home IR values were associated with increased incidence of heart disease reinforcing the critical nature of monitoring insulin resistance in various demographics. Understanding the home IR ratio also has implications for preventative health. The American College of Cardiology recommends that individuals at risk for metabolic syndrome have their home IR calculated alongside other metabolic markers. This comprehensive approach can help healthcare providers develop personalized treatment plans that address not just insulin resistance, but also lifestyle factors that contribute to overall health. The home IR ratio is a vital measure for assessing insulin resistance and enhancing metabolic health. Regular monitoring can help individuals identify risk factors early, allowing for timely lifestyle modifications and medical interventions. By focusing on a balanced diet rich in whole foods, engaging in regular physical activity, and maintaining a healthy weight, individuals can significantly improve their home IR values and overall metabolic health. The proactive management of insulin resistance is essential for preventing chronic diseases and promoting long-term well-being. Focus point five, continuous glucose monitoring. Continuous glucose monitoring, CGM, is a revolutionary technology traditionally associated with diabetes management. However, its benefits extend far beyond this population, offering valuable insights for non-diabetics seeking to optimize their health and wellness. CGM devices track glucose levels in real time, providing data that can help individuals understand how various factors affect their blood sugar, enabling informed lifestyle choices. One of the primary advantages of CGM for non-diabetics is the ability to gain immediate feedback on how dietary choices impact glucose levels. For instance, an individual may observe a spike in glucose after consuming a high-carb meal, highlighting the need for dietary adjustments. A study published in Cell Metabolism found that individuals using CGM experienced a significant reduction in postprandial glucose levels after modifying their diets based on real-time feedback. This immediate feedback loop fosters a greater awareness of the glycemic impact of foods, encouraging healthier eating habits. Consider the case of a 30-year-old fitness enthusiast who, despite maintaining an active lifestyle, found that her energy levels fluctuated significantly throughout the day. By using a CGM device, she discovered that her blood sugar levels would spike and crash after consuming certain snacks, particularly those high in refined sugars. Armed with this information, she replaced those snacks with high-protein and high-fiber options, leading to more stable energy levels and improved performance during workouts. This practical application of CGM data illustrates how individuals can tailor their nutrition to support their unique metabolic responses. In addition to dietary insights, 
CGM can also provide valuable information about the effects of exercise on glucose levels. Research in the Journal of Diabetes Science and Technology has shown that different types of physical activity, whether aerobic or anaerobic, can have varying impacts on blood sugar levels. For example, high-intensity interval training may lead to different glucose responses compared to steady-state cardio. With CGM, individuals can monitor their glucose in real time during exercise, allowing them to optimize their routines based on how their bodies respond. Another significant benefit of CGM is its potential for stress management. Stress can cause cortisol levels to rise, which in turn can affect blood glucose levels. A study published in Psychosomatic Medicine indicated that individuals experiencing high levels of stress often had elevated glucose levels, even when not consuming food. By tracking glucose levels during stressful periods, Individuals can become more aware of their physiological responses and implement strategies to mitigate stress, such as mindfulness or breathing exercises. Furthermore, CGM can play a role in preventative health. Regular monitoring can help individuals identify patterns of insulin resistance or prediabetes before they escalate into more serious conditions. A research project in diabetes care highlighted how non-diabetic individuals using CGM were able to catch early signs of metabolic dysfunction, leading to timely lifestyle interventions that effectively reverse concerning trends. Continuous glucose monitoring offers numerous benefits for non-diabetics, providing real-time insights that can enhance dietary choices, exercise routines, and overall metabolic health. By utilizing CGM technology, individuals can become more attuned to their bodies and make informed decisions that promote optimal well-being. To maximize the benefits of CGM, individuals are encouraged to incorporate regular monitoring into their health routines, experiment with dietary adjustments based on their glucose responses, and engage in activities that help manage stress effectively. By taking a proactive approach to glucose monitoring, non-diabetics can pave the way for improved health and longevity. Focus point six, additional tests. In the pursuit of optimal health, Relying solely on glucose and insulin metrics is insufficient. Comprehensive metabolic health requires a holistic view that includes lipid panels, liver function tests, and inflammatory markers. These additional tests are essential for identifying potential health risks, understanding overall metabolic function, and guiding lifestyle interventions. Lipid panels measure the levels of different types of fats in the blood, including low-density lipoprotein LDL, high-density lipoprotein HDL, total cholesterol, and triglycerides. Elevated LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Research published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology has established that a high triglyceride to HDL ratio is particularly predictive of heart disease risk, offering crucial insights that can prompt early interventions. A case study involving a 45-year-old male with a family history of heart disease highlighted how a routine lipid panel revealed dangerously high triglycerides. By making dietary changes, reducing refined sugars, and incorporating omega-3 fatty acids, he was able to lower his triglyceride level significantly over six months, thereby mitigating his cardiovascular risk. Liver function tests, LFTs, are equally vital as they assess the health of the liver, a crucial organ involved in metabolism, detoxification, and nutrient processing. Abnormal results can indicate liver damage or dysfunction, often linked to insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. A study published in Hepatology found a strong correlation between elevated liver enzymes and the development of type 2 diabetes. An illustrative case is that of a 50-year-old woman whose routine LFTs indicated elevated alanine aminotransferase, ALT, levels. Further investigation revealed non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, prompting lifestyle modifications that included weight loss and regular exercise, ultimately leading to normalized liver enzyme levels and improved metabolic health. Inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein, CRP, and interleukin-6, IL-6, provide critical insights into the body's inflammatory state. Chronic inflammation is a known contributor to various diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and certain cancers. 
A meta-analysis published in Circulation showed that elevated CRP levels are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events, indicating that inflammation can be as significant a risk factor as traditional markers like cholesterol. In a notable case, a 38-year-old man with obesity had elevated CRP levels detected during a routine checkup. By addressing his weight through diet and exercise, he managed to significantly reduce his CRP levels, demonstrating the interplay between lifestyle factors and inflammation. Together, these additional tests create a comprehensive picture of metabolic health, enabling individuals and healthcare providers to identify risks and implement targeted interventions. Regular assessments of lipid profiles, liver function, and inflammatory markers provide critical information that can guide dietary choices, exercise regimens, and lifestyle modifications. In summary, lipid panels, liver function tests, and inflammatory markers are indispensable components of a thorough health assessment. They enhance the understanding of metabolic health and can guide proactive health management strategies. Individuals are encouraged to incorporate these tests into their regular health checkups, discuss their results with healthcare providers, and take informed actions based on the findings. By addressing these additional metrics, individuals can significantly improve their overall health outlook and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Focus Point 7. Lifestyle Modifications Addressing Insulin Resistance requires a multifaceted approach that encompasses various lifestyle modifications. By implementing actionable strategies in diet, exercise, sleep, and stress management, individuals can significantly improve their health markers and reduce associated risks. Dietary changes are foundational in combating insulin resistance. A diet low in refined carbohydrates and added sugars, while high in whole foods, has been shown to enhance insulin sensitivity. The Mediterranean diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and healthy fats, has garnered attention for its beneficial effects on metabolic health. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition demonstrated that participants adhering to a Mediterranean diet experienced notable improvements in insulin sensitivity and lipid profiles. A practical approach for individuals is to incorporate more fiber-rich foods, such as legumes and whole grains, which have been shown to stabilize blood sugar levels and enhance satiety. Physical activity plays a crucial role in improving insulin sensitivity. Regular exercise, particularly resistance training and high-intensity interval training HIT, has been proven effective in enhancing glucose metabolism. A clinical trial published in Diabetes Care found that participants engaging in resistance training three times a week saw significant reductions in fasting insulin levels and improvements in glucose tolerance. Consider the story of a 50-year-old man diagnosed with prediabetes who began a structured exercise program, combining strength training and aerobic exercises. Within six months, he achieved a remarkable reduction in his insulin levels and improved body composition, demonstrating the transformative power of physical activity. Quality sleep is another critical factor in managing insulin resistance. Research in the journal Sleep Medicine Reviews indicates that inadequate sleep can disrupt metabolic processes, leading to increased insulin resistance and higher blood sugar levels. Establishing a consistent sleep routine and creating a sleep-conducive environment can yield significant benefits. A case involving a 40-year-old woman highlighted how improving her sleep hygiene by limiting screen time before bed and maintaining a regular sleep schedule led to improved energy levels and a marked decrease in her fasting glucose levels. Stress management techniques are also vital in reducing insulin resistance. Chronic stress leads to elevated cortisol levels, which can interfere with glucose metabolism. Mindfulness practices, yoga, and meditation have been shown to reduce stress and improve insulin sensitivity. A study published in Psychosomatic Medicine found that participants engaging in mindfulness-based stress reduction techniques had lower insulin resistance compared to those who did not. Implementing practices such as deep breathing exercises or regular yoga sessions can help mitigate the effects of stress on metabolic health. Addressing insulin resistance through lifestyle modifications is essential for improving health markers and reducing disease risks. By focusing on dietary changes, incorporating regular physical activity, ensuring quality sleep, 
and managing stress effectively, individuals can make significant strides in their metabolic health. It is recommended that individuals evaluate their current habits and gradually introduce these changes, seeking support from healthcare professionals when necessary. By taking proactive steps, individuals can not only enhance their insulin sensitivity, but also foster overall well-being. In summary, understanding essential blood tests and their implications for health is crucial for anyone aiming to improve their metabolic well-being. We explored seven key focus points that collectively highlight the importance of a comprehensive health assessment. Fasting glucose levels, a primary indicator of blood sugar regulation, with normal ranges vital for early detection of potential issues. Insulin measurement, provides insight into glucose metabolism and helps identify insulin resistance before it leads to more serious conditions. HbA1c test. Tracks long-term glucose levels, revealing trends that can inform health management strategies and lifestyle changes. HOMA-IR ratio, a critical measure of insulin resistance, helping assess metabolic health and guiding preventive actions. Continuous glucose monitoring, offers real-time insights for non-diabetics to make informed dietary and lifestyle choices. Additional tests. Lipid panels, liver function tests, and inflammatory markers provide a broader understanding of metabolic health risks. Lifestyle modifications, actionable strategies in diet, exercise, sleep, and stress management can significantly improve health markers and reduce risks. Essential blood tests for a comprehensive health picture. Understanding essential blood tests is vital for gaining insights into your overall health and addressing potential risks related to metabolic conditions. Key tests include fasting glucose levels, insulin measurement, HbA1c, home IR ratio, continuous glucose monitoring, and additional tests like lipid panels and liver function tests. Each of these provides crucial information about your body's ability to manage blood sugar, insulin sensitivity, and overall metabolic health. Practical recommendations include regular blood testing to monitor these key indicators, adopting a balanced diet low in refined sugars, incorporating regular physical activity, prioritizing quality sleep, and implementing stress management techniques. Practical hacks for better health. Regular testing. Schedule routine blood tests, including fasting glucose, insulin levels, and HbA1c. Regular monitoring can catch potential issues early and allow for timely interventions. Monitor your diet. Focus on a balanced diet rich in whole foods, fiber, and healthy fats. Reduce intake of refined sugars and processed foods to improve glucose regulation. Stay active. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. Incorporate strength training to enhance insulin sensitivity and support metabolic health. Prioritize sleep. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night. Create a calming bedtime routine and maintain a consistent sleep schedule to enhance metabolic function. Manage stress. Engage in stress-reducing activities like mindfulness, meditation, or yoga. Reducing chronic stress can lower cortisol levels, which positively impacts insulin sensitivity. Hydrate wisely. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Staying well hydrated supports metabolic processes and helps maintain stable energy levels. Use technology. Consider continuous glucose monitoring for real-time insights into your blood sugar levels, especially if you have concerns about insulin resistance or metabolic health. Educate yourself. Stay informed about the latest research and recommendations regarding blood tests and metabolic health. Knowledge empowers you to make better health choices. By taking these steps, individuals can proactively manage their health and enhance their quality of life. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey. Your time and interest are truly appreciated. If you found this audiobook valuable, please like, subscribe, and share with others who might benefit from these insights. Remember, engaging with this content not only enhances your understanding of health, but also supports your English language improvement. The more you listen, the better you speak. Let's continue this journey together toward better health and communication.